بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما so next thing we'll try to understand some of the advanced terminologies used in eagrp like there is something called successor feasible successor what they are exactly now the successor in in simple words successor is nothing but the best route successor route we call it as a best route to the destination like in this example let's say there is a router 1 to reach this specific subnet now to reach this specific subnet there are multiple uh, routes here you can see you can see there are multiple routes here to reach this particular subnet so there is one route here you can go from this route you can go from this route even there is one more route from this side now assume these are the individual cost values what you find on that particular interface now in this what is the best route like if you see the cost this is 2560 and if you go from this side it will be 2560 plus 2560 plus of course you have to add this cost as well and if you go from this side it will be 256 plus 256512 and if you go from other side it will be more again 2560 plus 256 plus 256 it goes approximately 3500 something like that so whichever route is having the best cost or the least cost we call as successor route now successor route is nothing but the best route to the destination Now the best route to the destination means the the route which is having the least cost or the lowest metric to reach that particular destination. And this route will be present in the routing table. And when the router wants to forward any packet, like in this case, the router one wants to forward any packet destined to ten dot four dot four dot subnet, it will always use this route. It always use this route unless that route fails or there is some problem on that particular route. okay technically we call as successor route or in simple words we can say it's a best route to reach the destination or whatever the routes you have in the routing table we call them as best routes or the successor routes now again uh, technically successor they, they both are almost same but generally uh, you will find successor is nothing but now this is your best route and whatever the next hop the next order that is router 3 will be referred as successor means from which router or what is the next hop router of that particular successor route like in this example from the router 1 to reach this network this is your successor route and the router 3 is your uh, successor or the next hop to reach to to reach the destination or install in the routing table or the next hop install in the routing table we call it as successor and we have something called feasible successor now feasible successor is the second best second best or the backup route we can say like in this example we are saying from the router 1 to reach this network now this is your successor route why because the cost on this is 256 plus 256 so it is 512 and the cost if you calculate the cost on this one it is oh, 2560 plus 2560 approximately 5000 and the cost on this route it is 2560 and if you calculate the cost here it will go again more because 2560 plus 256 it goes more so which means 512 is the best and what is the next best this one so the second best route we call it as a feasible successor and the good thing about the ehrp is ehrp pre calculates this second best route so when it is doing uh calculations when it calculates the best route it will also pre calculate the second best route and it's going to install this in the topology table so in that topology table you will have a feasible successor but again there are some conditions it has to match we'll talk about that in the next uh, topic probably what is feasibility condition and how exactly it is going to see because we need to understand few other parameters before we go ahead like feasible distance relative distance we need to understand those things So that's the reason right now we are not getting into this condition. So assuming that condition satisfies, EHRP pre-calculates the second best route. In other words, we can also say it is a backup route to reach the same destination, which will be used immediately if the successor fails. Which means, by default, this is a route to reach this subnet. And due to some reason, let's say this link goes down, so immediately it will start use the second route. It will install this route in the routing table. 
and it will start forwarding the packets via second route immediately without any delay. So this will again make faster convergence. Okay, so as I said already, this this particular feasible successor route will be stored in the topology table. And again, there is a condition. I'll talk about this condition. So that would as distance should be less than the successor feasible distance. So in order to understand the condition, we need to understand those parameters. So that's something what we are doing in our next topic.